Today we're going to be working on problems on geometry, specifically on the relationship between angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now the first few facts that we're going to be working on today are uh, the supplementary angles and complementary angles. Now supplementary angles are angle relationship in geometry wherein the sum of the angles would equal to 90 degrees. So in a supplementary angles, think about a straight line and in this straight line there will be multiple angles in this um, particular straight line and when you add them all up their sum will equal to 180 degrees so this is another geometry fact that you need to remember in geometry because most problems involving uh, geometry uh, lessons are formed using these technical terms so supplementary angle Remember, S is a straight line, S and straight line is equal to 180 degrees, and their sum should be equal to 180 degrees. So the other relationship that we're going to be talking about would be the complementary angles. And in geometry, complementary angles are angle whose sum will equal to 90 degrees. So if we have a straight line that will equal to 180 degrees, a complementary angles would be a relationship between angles wherein if we have multiple angles in this side of our intersection it will equal to 90 degrees so the sum of any angles in this particular angle relationship will equal to 90 degrees and we call them as complementary angles so these are the two angle relationship with intersecting lines that we're also going to be using in our lesson on parallel lines. Now for uh, parallel lines, parallel lines as we know are two lines that will never intersect. So if we have line one and line two, these two lines are called parallel lines because they are lines that will not intersect. And when this parallel line is cut by another line called a transversal, we'll be able to produce several relationships between the parallel lines and the transversal. And transversal in this particular diagram is the blue line that is cutting our parallel lines M and N. So if this line intersects, we'll be able to produce relationship as I've mentioned a while ago. And today we're going to be talking about the relationship or the name of those relationship that we call in geometry. So for this particular relationship, we'll have four different relationship that we will be able to establish when we are working with parallel lines cut by a transversal. So notice that we have eight different angles in our parallel lines and the transversal line. And there are specific name or special name that we use to uh, show the relationship between the two pairs or a pair of angles in this relationships. So let's start with corresponding angles and corresponding angles in geometry would be angle 1 and angle 5. So notice that angle 1 and angle 5 are both in your parallel lines but it's on the same side of your transversal. So corresponding angles that is angle 1 and angle 5 is not the only corresponding angles that we'll be able to produce in this relationship. Angle 4 and angle 8 have the, sim have the same situation therefore angle 4 and angle 8 are also considered to be corresponding angle and angle 2 and angle 6 are also corresponding same with angle 3 and angle 7. So angle 1 and angle 5 is just one of the four corresponding angles that we'll be able to produce out of this diagram. So that is the corresponding angles in geometry. And the next relationship that we're going to be talking about will be the same side interior angle. Now it's called the same side interior angle because same side because if this is our parallel line, same side means they're on the same side of the transversal. This is your first side and this is your other side so those two pairs or the pairs of angle that we're going to be finding or looking for here will be on the same side and they're also in the interior or inside the parallel line so an example of this would be angle 3 and angle 6 because angle 3 and angle 6 they're both inside the parallel line and they're both 
on the same side of the transversal line. So that's the first or the second relationship that we'll be able to establish in parallel lines cut by a transversal. And another pair of uh, same side interior angle would be angle four and angle five. Now for the third relationship, we have the alternate interior angle. And from the keyword itself, alternate means in our transversal line, which is represented by the diagonal line. Alternating means one of the angles is on this side and the other one will be on the other side of the transversal. And since it says interior angle, it means it's interior or inside the parallel line. And the example of alternate interior angle in this diagram will be angle three and angle five. Same with angle four and angle six. So they are alternate interior angle. And for the last relationship for this diagram, we have the alternate exterior angle. So again, it means the two angles are alternating on the transversal, but this time they will be outside our parallel lines. So in this example, we'll be seeing angle one and angle seven as an example of alternate exterior angle and another pair of alternate exterior angle would be angle two and angle eight. So these are the four relationships that we'll be able to establish when we're working with parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now some of the properties of these relationships is that some of them are congruent and some of them are supplementary or when you add them up it will equal to 180 degrees. Now for corresponding angles, angle 1 and angle 5, notice that for this angle we'll be able to see two types of angle, an obtuse angle and the acute angle. And the obtuse angles are congruent and the acute angles are also congruent or same measurement. So notice that angle 1 and angle 5 are, bo are both obtuse angle. So when that happens, that particular angle will be congruent. So angle 1 and angle 5 are congruent angles because they are also corresponding angles. Now for the other uh, pairing, we have the same side interior angle for angle 3 and angle 6. So notice that angle 6 is an acute angle and angle 3 is an obtuse angle so they are not the same so they are not congruent but what's special about same side interior angle is that they are supplementary angles which means when you add them up it will equal to 180 degrees now for alternate interior angle at angle 3 and angle 5 angle 3 is obtuse angle 5 is also obtuse angle so we can argue that both of these angles are also congruent and we can say that alternate interior angles are angles that are also congruent and for the last relationship we have alternate exterior angle in the alternate exterior angle represented by 1 and 7 both of them are obtuse so they are also congruent angle so these are some of the facts and properties of parallel lines cut by a transversal and this is going to be extremely useful in solving some problems involving intersecting lines. So let's have an application of the relationship of the two angles in solving this complex geometry problem involving algebra. So to work with most problems in geometry, you need to know how to read symbols and how those symbols are related to the given problem. So in this um, example, it says here that if measurement of angle 3 is equal to 2x minus 10 degrees and the measurement of angle 7 is x plus 40 degrees, then what is the value of x? So the first thing that we're going to do is to relate our problem or the word problem with our diagram. So we know that this is angle 3 and this is angle 7 and the relationship between these two angles are that angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles and we know in the previous slide that corresponding angles are said to be congruent as well. Now knowing this geometry facts and relationship between angles we'll be able to construct an algebraic equation out of this problem. So since measurement of angle 3 and measurement of angle 7 are co corresponding and therefore congruent, we can equate the value of 
those two angles and have 2x minus 10 degrees equal to x plus 40 degrees. And now you'll see an algebraic problem that we can solve using basic algebra steps. So what we're going to do is we're going to be combining all the variables on one side and all the constant our numerical value on the other side. So in this case we'll be adding 2x or we'll be combining 2x and x by subtracting x on both sides and we're going to combine the numerical value or the constant on the other side so we're going to add 10 on both sides so that we'll be able to separate the variables and the constant. So the variable is on one side and the constant is on the other side and by doing so we'll be able to simplify our equation because 2x minus x is x and 40 plus 10 is equal to 50. Therefore the value of x in this particular problem is 50 degrees. So this is how we work out problems involving geometry and uh, if you've learned something from this video please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.